What's up guys, this is Kawai and welcome to my journey to entrepreneurship. And today I want to share with you guys a trick to make the customers, to attract the customer's attention and make them give you their contact information willingly. So let's get right into it. So this morning I woke up really really early and I went to my uncle's to uncle's place to learn how to make dumplings. So correct? I love dumplings and I really wanted to learn how to make them. So I went to my uncle and he taught me how to make them. But um in the afternoon you feel you know that feeling when you feel like oh in the morning I woke up really early and now I feel like I deserve some I deserve that I can I can take a nap, you know, I deserve some nap. And then you decide to take about 20 minutes nap and then you wake up again and you realize that you, it, it has been two hours. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me sometimes, yeah. Mm. So anyways, today I want to share with you guys a trick that you can use to attract the customer's attention and willingly make them make them willingly give you their contact information, their email addresses online. So do you remember the time when like years ago when there were websites I was I was playing games and I was watching videos online and then there are some pop-ups that appear you know that the pop-ups that make that ask you your contact information your email addresses and such when you're using websites like when you are scrolling down and using rereading some articles and then suddenly a pop-up comes up and then you're like and then they're like oh give me your email address and subscribe to this newsletter and such and then you don't you just try to look for that little x button cross button so that you can click on that and make it disappear so that you can actually continue reading your newspaper you know you reading your news article and such so um those pop-ups are not much popular nowadays anymore because they are like kind of kind of a distraction and you know the people don't really, really like it so it it just disappeared and now someone got the idea and someone just took that pop-up and make those pop-up appear before you even get to the website you know when you click on the website the pop-up disappears the pop-up appears first and then they ask for your email addresses first and then only you get to the website and you can buy things that you really want so or you can read things that you were clicking on you know there was that that was when that idea first um, appeared everyone was like ah this is so stupid how will this work people don't even like it when you ask them when you when you ask them in the middle and now you're gonna ask their email address in front this is so stupid but it actually worked and it is working so well right now and it increased their it increased the rate the percentage from it increased the percentage like um i guess it's 30 percent 30 percent increase in giving their email addresses customers give their email address like 30 percent more customers guys so it is doing pretty well now so so this is one of the tricks right you cannot ask their email addresses and their contact information after they have gone to your website and reading the newsletters or articles or reading or watching anything that they are doing right they don't ask them in the middle ask them up front before they even get to that and so the problem right now is how do you ask that how do you ask so to ask that you have to realize that there are three things in there are three things that you have to use so the first thing is the hook and then the story and then the offer so hook story offer now one of the things that one of the common mistakes that everybody does is like um they try to make it so fancy they try to make their pop up page that that is called a page right that is um it's called a squeeze squeeze page because you squeeze the contact information out of your customer it is called a squeeze page and so in a squeeze page squeeze page everybody tries to make it fancy and you know make tries to make the design look really really cool and such and it just complicates the customer and sometimes they don't even want to give you their contact information anyway because you know it's complicated sometimes and there are lots and lots of buttons there are like three four buttons one some in some websites and you don't really want to click on any of them anymore because there are too many buttons and one of the ways that have been proven to work the best is to be simple 
and there has to be only one button all right only one submit button and their email and the box to fill in their email address and when they have filled in their email address then there has to be only one button submit button so that they can click on submit and they can move on to the next page which will be the sales page or the ones that they are going to read the page on the way the, the article that they are going to read so in in the squeeze page it is not just the email address box and the submit button you also have to include the hook now what is a hook now if you have watched my previous videos then you already know what a hook is and the, now to give you just a hook is a uh, is something that grabs the customer's attention you know when the customer is like scrolling when i'm scrolling my news feed facebook news feed, news feed and such and then something grabs my attention I, I, and i stop scrolling now that is some that is a hook whatever that is it might be the headline it might be a picture it might be a video or it might be a really really huge word you know or it might be a really really um really really shocking image or such so those are the hook because it grabs the customer's attention it grabbed my attention and it will grab your attention so those are the hook and so you have to think about how you are going to grab your customer's attention and mostly it is by using headlines so the headline will be your hook and it is the most common thing they think they um successful squeeze pages are used so the headline is the hook and then there will be a sub headline just be just below the headline and then in a sub headline you had it is like you have to tell a little bit of a story like one sentence or two sentences but the most common thing is just one sentence and you you can tell a little bit of story like what is the thing that they are going to subscribe for right what is why should they give you their email address right so the hook can be like an example would would be like um give me your email address and i'm a wait get this free book and give get this free book and send wait a second get this free book and put in your email address so that i can send you the free book you know what is the free book the second the, the sub headline will be something that you're going to input so that they will know what your ebook is so the ebook will be like um 99 marketing secrets that can change your business forever you know that is a sub headline and the uh, headline can be like um free ebook to change free ebook and give me your email address something i forgot i forgot what that sentence was <laughs> I'm pretty sleepy right now. Anyways, so um, it's the hook, the story, and then the next thing is the offer. So what is the offer? The offer is something you can give the offer like after the headline and a sub headline. There you can also input some e covers. So electronic covers is like something that they are going to get. So what are the customers going to get if they are going to subscribe to your newsletter, or your if they are going to give you the email address? So if you are going to offer them the free ebook, then there the, you have to input the e the image of the free ebook. So your e cover, right? So the Im the image of your e cover, and then people will be like, oh, this is this is what I'm going to get. This is so cool. I like it. I like it, and so I'm going to give you the email address, so they can actually see that what they're going to get, right? If you don't input the image of the e-cover, then they are they cannot imagine what they're going to read about, or they cannot you know, really imagine them imagine themselves reading it and imagine themselves to, uh, taking in the information that you're going to give. So you have to input the e the image of the ebook right there, the, the image the image of the e-cover, and then you can ask your you can ask your you can ask the email address of the customer and then there is the submit button now that is the most common way of successful squeeze pages now why should you get there might be some questions like why should you get the customer's email address right you can just ask for the phone number or you can just ask for their name and such why should you get the email address now if you are doing online marketing if you are doing if you're selling products online email email list is the most important asset right so Russell Brunson is very very focusing on building their email building his email list and every one of us should do that as well because email if you have the email list you can you can just get the you can just sell anything you want to your customers right 
in any time that you want so it's like an example would be like because of the email list that Russell Brunson has he saved his com- company from bankruptcy twice twice guys twice when he was about to go bankrupt he was like oh I'm, I'm gonna go bankrupt I don't know what to do this is so stressful and then he thought about what can I sell to my customers and then he created an offer and then he sent the emails to every one of his customers from his email list and then suddenly he get he got so many revenue again and then he just saved his com- company and then the same thing happened the next time now just think think about that guys if he didn't have those email lists then he's not going to be able to save his company and now he's not going to be the ceo of click funnels anymore right because of his email list it saved him and it saved his company and that is why we should have email lists we can sell our products our offers and you know contact we keep in touch with our customers using the emails and that is why most people are most marketers online are sending you emails and sending you emails and asking you for your email addresses all the time right and that is the reason that they are doing that and that is why you should start doing it as well and so yeah that's what i want to tell you guys today and so that's so far today guys i have to go and send my sister to school so yeah see you later